Mike McFarlane here, the ADR director for Attack on Titan, as well as the voice of Jean Kirstein. I'm Phil you. Parsons, voice actor ordinaire, and I am voicing uh, Kenny Ackerman, the long-awaited antagonist in season three of Attack on Titan. Funimation tweeted out that we're going to do a little Q&A here, and we got some questions, and we're gonna go through them. Yeah, you guys had the gall to provide questions, so we will answer in kind. I like gall. All right, from uh, Jeremy Dimitruk. What's it like coming back to the show after a year? Season two ended, and what are you most excited about for this season? It's always great to come back. I wish that it was a, a long stream of just one long show, but little breaks in between give me a chance to do more research and do some more casting and whatever else, and work on other shows. And what am I looking forward to most this season? Uh, one thing was this guy, some Kenny Ackerman action. Uh, and I'm looking forward to the season of a lot more people versus people rather than people versus titans. I think we're going to have a ton of that this season from what I have read. This one is from Ninja Captioner. Given the speed with which this was dubbed and ready to broadcast, mm -hmm. was it developed alongside the production of the Japanese version? Mm. Alongside, uh, the goal is to have them a few days at the very least before the Japanese broadcast goes up. At the very least, I will get it when it goes up and I'll have a little time to do some research. Then uh, luckily the manga has gone on way past where the show itself is. So all it really is as far as the information itself is what content is in this particular episode and how is it compared to the manga uh, at what speed and what chapters and that sort of thing. So there's that aspect of it. There is the casting aspect of it as far as going alongside with whatever we keep in contact as much as possible and keep in touch with the production team as much as possible so that we have all of the info. We've received many things thus far, like, you know, all things that will be covered this season, uh, lots of uh, character lists of who all is involved with each episode, stuff like that. So mm. we can plan in advance for all sorts of like scheduling and such. We have Toya. How did you decide to cast for this show? Did you do open auditions? Also, what recording software did you use? I use Pro Tools, but is there a different industry standard that I should consider learning? Uh, we also use Pro Tools, so good on you for learning the stuff that we use. The main and bulk of the cast were decided by uh, a very long audition for uh, processes lately, uh, and it was held not just here. Like, I accepted stuff via online submission from uh, other actors in other areas, so that's mm. Houston folks, Austin folks, Los Angeles folks, New York folks. So that was where, like, Aaron, um, Armin, all of the bulk of the, of the main cast uh, were chosen that way and selected that way and then went through an approval process. Every time you come into work at Funimation, you're really auditioning along with doing the work that you're doing. I wish you hadn't told me that because now I feel incredible pressure. You're always under pressure. To come in and be, you know, soldier 4A who gets stabbed and screams. I judge you on that. Yeah. For Mike, it's from Michelle. Hi, Michelle. How are your feelings heading into season three's material because of how different the arc is compared to last season? And then there's a question for you as well. Okay. But I'm gonna answer mine. Um, I'm looking forward to it. As I said before, this is the season where it seems to be a lot of people versus people. It's not even necessarily a whole bunch of like good versus bad. It's like cause versus cause and reason versus reason. Comparatively, it'd be like, you know, and it happened on The Walking Dead as well. At some point, the, the zombies and such become less of a nuisance than like the other people that are still alive that don't like see things. They don't see things eye to eye with say your group. So we are approaching a, uh, an entire season of such. For Phil, did you have an idea about who Kenny was before the recording of season three? Phil? And as I made it clear, no, I didn't. Uh, he brought me in and said, I want you to do this guy. Here's what yeah. he looks like. And here's what he sounds like. Right. Like I'm doing Muppet News on Sesame Street now. Uh-huh. <laughs> So, uh, but again, like I said, Mike is really good. He has very specific ideas about what he wants and he's able to uh, just very in, very in shorthand, let you know what that is. And then you give him something and it's, it's, it's there. He goes, oh yeah, more of that, less of that. It's just, it's, uh, it's easy. It makes us look good. Shonaku asks, what scenes on any episode, any episode, uh, are you looking forward to dub in upcoming episodes of season three? I am looking forward to like, you know, most of it, but I will say probably the last couple, like the the, the climax of the season, the, the big dun 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 of this season. Mm -hmm. Attack on Titan is pretty consistent with 
two things. The last 20, 30 seconds of most episodes is, what? And then it says to be continued. Mm -hmm. You know, not, there's not a what voice. There's not like a little John like, what? Going on there. That's just me like, as an audience member going, what? As I read, you know. No, I'm lobbying. That should be an extra on the Blu-ray. It should. You can activate that. And then the season uh, finales, like what they build up to, mm -hmm. is a big, what? Like a longer one. Like not a quick one like the episode endings, but like a, what? Like A, 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 and then T. Hmm afterwards. I'm looking forward to that for this season. Okay. And I know what it is, but I will not spoil. Right. Hmm. Okay. Eric Dressel. Eric okay. with a K. All right. Very Germanic. Like Carrick? Uh, or you at the end of it? <laughs> yes. It's all Ks, actually. I just, I made up the Eric pronunciation. Uh, Dressel says, <laughs> so, what's in Aaron's basement? Um, stuff? <laughs> Will we find out this season? Let's find out this season by watching this season. Ah, look at And Mike. see if it's answered this season. Ever the showman tickling with a feather. Say season again, season. Well, thanks for all those questions. Yeah. And I hope some of our answers were uh, very answerful for you and yes. had lots of answer in them. Yeah, I hope you're filled with answers now to the brim. On Instagram and at Twitter, I am Mike McFarland VA. So like Mike McFarland VA at Mike McFarland VA, and then uh, Instagram is the same thing. Yeah, and I'm on Twitter, Phil Parsons sixty eight. Oh, and I'm on Tinder. So swipe right. All right, we're cut. <laughs> <laughs>